So in this video, we will be running a Tyco L2 node. So you can run a Tyco L2 node, you can run a Tyco L3 node, and this one will be running a Tyco L2 node by using our simple Tyco node repo. The guide is available here on tyco.xyz, and we'll basically just be running through this. So first of all, you need to make sure you meet these prerequisites. You need to have Docker installed and running, you'll need to have Git, uh, and you'll need to meet some of these geth minimum hardware requirements. Uh, those hardware requirements are a little bit higher if you're running a prover and will be significantly higher later on. But we're just going to be setting up a plain RPC node today. And in another video, we'll show how to enable a proposer and enable like a, pr a prover on, on that RPC node. So yeah, let's just walk through the steps here. So the first thing that you need to do is clone simple Tyco node. So I have a, um, I have a Ubuntu machine here that I'm using and I will just enter in this command and clone simple Tyco node. So there we go, this is simple Tyco node. Um, for a Grimm's Votan L2 node, we just need to copy this env.sample into .env. So I will take that command and I will, um, let's see here, and I will just execute that. Now I should have a .m file, which we can see here. Um, and then we just need to edit that .env file, okay? And we really just need to configure two values, the L1 endpoint and the uh, for HTTP and the L1 endpoint for a, a web, socket, web socket connection. And uh, there is another video on how to set up a Sepolia L1 node, which is recommended. But if you're not able to do that, you can, you can get a, um, a, a URL or an endpoint to use from Alchemy or Infura. So yeah, let's open up this, this .m file. You can use like Nano or, or Notepad if you're on Windows. Um, or you can use Vim. And what we can do is we can just uh, take these um, these values right here, L1 endpoint, HTTP, and WebSocket, and we can just set those to um, to the um, uh, to the IP address of this comp uh, of, of this local computer, right? So on this computer, I'm already running a Sepolia L1 archive node, and I can actually kind of prove that really quick to you. Um, um, by using this command called cast. So cast is just, it's just, um, it's kind of like a, oh, if you're familiar with a curl command, but it's basically going to send a request to get the block number on my computer, which is this, uh, this is the private IP address for my, for my network. And this is the execution client port. So I'll just do this and it looks like nothing came up. Interesting. So I guess nothing's running there. So let me just do a Docker PS. I'm gonna see if I have anything running. Okay, it looks like I don't. I don't have my um, my Sepolia L1 node started up. So I'll actually just go and do that really quick. I have it in this directory here, and I'll do this command ethd up. Um, again, you can check out another video uh, posted here on how to set up that Sepolia L1 archive node. But now I should be uh, good to go. So I'll go back to this simple Tyco node directory. And um, I'll try that cast command again and see if I'm able to get a response. Okay, cool. I got the block number and we can just like kind of confirm that this is uh, indeed like up to date. This is at what, 972, uh, 928. So it's like a little bit behind, but I think that it should still be able to sync. Um, so yeah, let's just give it a shot and, 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 and see how it goes. Um, what we'll do is we will take this uh, local IP address, 192.168.15, and we'll go back, we'll edit that environment file, and we will um, add that for the uh, the endpoints here. So it's 192.168.1.15, and the port number is 8545, and for WebSocket, it would be of this syntax, 192.168.1.15, 8545, um, you can look at the guide. There's other ways to refer to this local Sepolia node aside from um, the private IP address, which you can get with IP address show. Um, you can use host.docker internal as well. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do it this way. And okay, this is 8546. And save the file. So that should be pretty much it. We just configured, we cloned the repo, we set two endpoints so that the L2 node can. Um, download the state from, from the L1 and, and start building blocks on, on this local L2 node. Um, so all we need to do now is just start the node. So I'll do a docker compose up. 
um, I'll pass this D flag so it does it in the background and this will start up the containers and start my Tyco L2 node. All right, so this, um, if you look at the environment file, you'll see that Grafana is running on port 3001. So we'll go ahead and um, take a look at what's happening on port 3001. Um, there's this L2 execution uh, engine dashboard. It looks like I got this uh, unauthorized thing here. Um, this is because um, Grafana is a little bit weird with running multiple instances on one machine. And um, yeah, you, basically what we can do is we can try clearing this site data um, and just doing um, uh, a, a hard refresh of, of this site, um, which I can just do right here, empty cache and hard reload, and it might work. Okay, cool. So um, I have a fix for that, by the way, if you're if you're curious on, on how it works, is like, um, I'll just show really quickly. There's this file Grafana auth YAML, which I added to ETH Docker that allows you to not have to uh, do a username and password when you log in. And that, that'll fix the, the, the issue of that dashboard not showing up. So, okay, let me just go back into the repo. I think we're pretty much done here, but just to know um, if, you're, if, if your node is running healthy, you're gonna start to see this chain head increase. And eventually you're, you're gonna see this storage size going up as well. And once the chain head matches what you can see in the Explorer, um, which is uh, 814,000 blocks approximately, you'll know that your node is fully synced. So yeah, this will just take a little bit of time, but eventually it'll be synced and you'll be able to use this node in order to sync an L3 node, which we'll do in another video. So thanks.